I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate it so much. You're gonna hate it? I get the worst character. You do not. I get the idiot. You, no. I get the idiot. An idiot's not bad. Idiot's terrible. No! Yeah. <laughs> hey. Um, I don't remember the last time I ever posted something on my channel. You don't? No. How long has it been? A while. So we're, I'm back. So today we're switching cosplays. Um, normally I cosplay Jake English. The precious, wonderful, beautiful, heroic... I can't think of any other good words, but he, he's great. Idiot. Dumbass. Um, Empty-headed. So who do you usually cosplay? I usually cosplay Dirk Strider. The suave, cool, bit arrogant, but very fun character. Controlling, Quite manipulative jerk. So we're gonna go do that, and then we'll do other stuff. I don't know. So let's do that. everyone, welcome to Rumble and a Pumpkin Patch, with yours truly, Jake English, Duck Strider. We had people send in questions, specific, some specific, some not, and we're going to answer them, and that's it. There is no rumbling in the pumpkin patch, so I don't know why you called it that. Well, Rumble in the this Pumpkin Patch like Q&A! Rumble in the Pumpkin no. Patch Q&A with the Does it look like there's any rumbling going on? I mean, we could yeah. have a good tussle if you want. I'm no. always down for good fisticuffs. Come on, duck. Jake has the questions. Oh, right, right I Jake. do. I do have the questions. <laughs> because his Twitter following is big. Only a little, duck. If you didn't post such weird, iconic, and sometimes argumentative things, you'd have a bigger following, too. Twitter is very supposed to be Question first for you, Duck. Working on any new robotic projects? Yeah, a few. Care to explain? No. First no. question. All right. Do you have a nice ass? Uh, what? That, that's not a question. It is now. That's not a question. I mean, thank you. I do have a nice rear derriere, I'd that's like to Earth say. That's ass right there. Yes. Well, it's, it's mine. What do you do in your free time? That's an excellent question. I think a lot. Are you going to tell me the question, Doug? Are you and Jane dating? Uh, well, um... <laughs> Jake? <laughs> Doug, that's a bit of a personal question, I think. I didn't ask it. Well, I... Uh, Jane and I, we have a complicated relationship, and it's... It's not that we're not dating, we get together every now and then, as old sports do, and close friends, people who have deep, meaningful relationships, so I just think we'd work better as friends rather than a, um, it's not that I don't like Jane, she's a wonderful gal, beautiful, smart, amazing cook, or, but the point is, we, ju we just make better amigos, buddies, um, Hookups. You know. I mean, she is quite lovely. Okay, we can move on from that one now. Oh, sorry. How often do you go on adventures? And yes, that does mean farther than the kitchen, where you keep so much of Jane's baked goods, which you it's love delicious. to speak praises about constantly. Oh, right. I go on adventures quite a lot when I'm not busy here with Dirk or, you know, with my friends. The gals and I, we go out hunting for some sport every now and then. Now, my turn to ask a question. All right. Mm -hmm. Dirk, please be careful with your sword. Of course. Dirk, you have to be careful. All right, Dirk, 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 Dirk. Sword Speaking sword. of swords, do you still practice sword play? I think the answer is ow. Yes. How are you and Roxy doing? Should there be something wrong? Well, no, I just think they want to know about your friendship with dear old Rox. Me and Roxy are just fine. He is great. 
right? Yes. Okay. Still getting used to that. I kind of wish his aesthetic was a little different from Dave's. I think it's quite lovely. I mean, I've confused them a little bit for each other. Every time you see, every time you see them. They have the different hair. Roxy has the little curl. But that's exploration. Also, way more highlighter. Oh, I can see that cheeks from space. It's wonderful. Okay. Yes? What are Dirk's best features? Oh, that's an easy one. He's magnificent at sword play, and he's such a wordsmith. You should hear him throw down a peat. I know that I'm still learning a bit, but he is definitely quite good. He's charming when he wants to be quite intelligent, though perhaps he knows it a little bit too much sometimes, but honestly, there's no one quite like Dirk. He's handsome. When he wants to be charismatic, he can be. He's quite a good leader if he sometimes learns to let off the reins. Honestly, and you've been working out too. Look at these. Look at these. He's been working out. It's amazing. Mm. And honestly, he's, he's just a good bro. I mean, look at how he cares for Dave. He's become like a pseudo bro. Jake, you're uh, an idiot. Uh, oh, what is yours and Dirk's TV show about? That's a question for both of us. Well, it's a metaphor. What? Well, Every a metaphor, if you look at it long enough and think about it long enough. What's it a metaphor? Just for? because you. <laughs> Just a, a good old time to watch. It is that. Why are you such a controlling douchebag? You just made that up. No, I didn't. Well, screw you. Hmm. Looks like the public has spoken, Dirk. Give them their answer, Strider. And douchebag might be a little hard. He's not a douchebag. Well, we agree on something. I think that's a little bit extreme. I like to have a hand in things because if I didn't, everything would go to shit. Not entirely true. You don't know that. Well, you also I don't do. let it try. Yes, I love to stand back and watch my entire world of happiness spiral down into a frothing mass of disgusting nothingness. But you're not even letting it begin to spiral. Why you don't know if do it that? would. It definitely would. You don't I know, know that. that on good authority that it definitely would. So we're trying to prevent it. I'm the controlling douchebag. Dirk, I didn't Jake, say- Jake, why are you so useless? That's not a question. That is in fact a question, and I can tell you why. It's because he doesn't have a thought in his stupid little head of his. Ex- Dirk. When we talk about not having free will, this is the poster child for it. Dirk! Everything that he has ever done has been because Dirk, someone your else jokes are getting a little too. hurtful. What are your thoughts on Bro Strider and how he raised Dave? Okay, that's technically two questions, but I guess we can put them together. Splinters. Do you want me to leave you alone for a moment to talk about this? Why? You could just watch it back later if I wanted to keep it a secret. I would knock you over the head. Wait, what? And then cut it from the film. Wait, duh, that's a little concerning. Bro Strider. While genetically, yes, the same. Encapsulated all a lot of my not so great qualities. Jake was able to at least say some nice things about me. Those things can't be said for him. Let me put it this way: I don't live under the impression that it wasn't me, and I take full responsibility for that. You shouldn't have to. One of the reasons why we maintain a brother interaction between me and Dave is because he needs that. I don't think he can handle having another parental figure. Quite this looking like this in his life. And to be honest, I think I prefer it better that way too. How tight is your ass? <laughs> Thoughts on Dave and Car Cat for both of us. Let's do that one. The other ones were a little... Mm. Yes. I'm happy for the little man. Uh, I think they work quite well together. They're quite cute. And... Are you xenophobic? What? Yeah, 
Yeah, Jake. Good. Um, no. What are your thoughts on our troll friends? The I ones love that keep our you troll the friends. Most ratings. That's not true. Humans and consorts and the denizens, they all give me quite lovely ratings. But I love trolls. They're funny and witty and oh, no one knows how to tussle they like they do. Their breeding? We're not getting political, Dirk. We're not getting political on this. Biggest fear. I'm, I fear nothing. I fear spiders. Why are you abusive to me and your relationship? That's an excellent question. After reading the Wikipedia page on it, maybe sometimes. Seriously, you're using Wikipedia to describe this? How else do you learn things, Jake? Emotionally manipulating people is considered that. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, it's I didn't called know that. emotional abuse. Oh. However, I would say that I wasn't the only one that was perhaps being a little bit manipulative about things. And that was one of the reasons why we felt we couldn't um, interact at that level in a healthy way. Here you go. Here's your, your last question. All right. Are you ready for it? I am. Like, really ready? Shoot away, so duck. So ready. I am so it's ready. It's one of those adventure questions. Oh, I love those. You gotta Come be on. ready. I'm ready. Come Do you love Dirk? What? That's, that's not an adventure question, Dirk. I think it's gonna be an adventure trying to answer it. <laughs> trying to pull that answer out of your throat. <laughs> or did we finally get a question to render him speechless? <laughs> Hard to believe. Love is very complicated, and... We have a complicated history and relationship, and I'd rather not discuss something like this as a question when he, you're sitting right next to me, Dirk, in all Why honesty. Why would your answer change if I was gone? No, because you could just watch it later, and... Then why can't you just say it in front of me? Because I don't... I don't know, Dirk! That's a solid answer. Why can't you two get your shit together and work shit out clearly? <laughs> We've worked things out. I wouldn't say we've worked them out entirely. We're working together, are we not? Yes. We have a TV show together. Yes. We hang out. Yes. We're just fine. Yeah, and I think that's out of all the questions that we're going to acknowledge exist. Yes. Because if we answered all of them, half of them would be an alternian. <laughs> and we're done. So... Thanks for joining us, you lovely folks, for Rumbling the Pumpkin Patch Q&A with Dirk Strider and Jake English. Wait. Oh. I just put a hole in the wall. Well, it's your wall. That's fair. I can always fix it later. That's true.